Deb. Hi, Deb. Can you tell us a little bit about this journey that you've been talking about? Yeah, um, the journey uh, is going to be our church's roadmap to discipleship. You know, just in short, we kind of identified as leadership that uh, we offered Sunday school and then we offered a disciple course, which is 30 to 34 weeks long, uh, but there really wasn't anything in between. And so the idea behind the journey is that there are some intentional courses that we invite all of our church, uh, and even those who are unchurched or don't go to this church, to be a part of. Uh, and there are four courses. The first one is um, Alpha, uh, and then the other three is Knowing God, Loving God, and Serving God. And then from there, once they have those four courses and experiences, hopefully we've built up their stamina, their confidence, their comfort with small groups and biblical understanding, uh, that they are then um, able to take the bigger step in, in involving themselves in, in a 30 or 32 week course like Disciple. So it, it's really more of a, a journey to uh, get people more comfortable with small groups, more comfortable with uh, the Christian faith, with Methodism, uh, with biblical understanding and truth, um, and, and of course trying to grow them in their faith as well along the way. Now I've heard you speak about Alpha. That sounds like a beginning, a starting place. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, Alpha, it, it, that's exactly it. It's, it. It is a beginning course, uh, and it tackles the basic questions of, uh, of the Christian faith, uh, which can be for anyone who doesn't believe in Christianity. It can be for people who are new to the faith. It can be people who are newcomers to the church. And it can be for people who have been devoted Christians for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 35 years. Uh, it, it's just another, it's, it's an opportunity for everyone to come together to wrestle with some of the critical questions of the Christian faith, uh, with hopes of uh, with hopes of getting people further interested, uh, better understanding the faith, and of course, uh, hopefully, making a commitment uh, to a relationship with Jesus Christ or strengthening it. The, the questions like, who is Jesus and why did Jesus die? Why and how should I pray? Uh, why and how should I read the Bible? Um, how can I make the most of the rest of my life? You know, those are all questions. Um, that anyone, regardless of where they are in their faith, um, can always grow from, can always, should always be rest, we should always be wrestling with those types of questions to see how we can better understand those questions, better understand the scripture behind it, and then of course see how that applies to our lives and how we can be more faithful. Because at various stages in our lives, these things take on a different meaning. Absolutely, most definitely. Now I can just hear, even in my own head, saying, where am I going to find the time? I'm already doing so many things. And, and you know, Deb, it's a great question because I, I wrestle with that as well. I know that in taking on this ministry and kind of spearheading it for our church, um, I've had to ask myself that question. So one of the things that experts say is that you have to, you, you need to create margin in your life. You know, you need to be able to find, you need to be able to look at the things that you're doing and say, okay, make choices about what are going to be the ones that are going to enrich my life. What are going to be the ones that I can really say are going to be life-enriching experiences that, quite frankly, when we take part in those experiences, they have, they spill over into our marriages, they spill over into our family life, they spill over into our friendships, into our work relationships. And so when we engage ourselves in life-enriching activities such as the journey, the Alpha Course, knowing God, loving God, serving God, all of those types of things, we naturally see ourselves changing and transforming. Um, so I, so it has the power, it has the power to be some life-changing experiences, and I really think that for the people of our church and for just people in general who partake in this journey of discipleship, uh, I, I think we're going to have some amazing testimonies and some pretty powerful stories that are going to be coming from this uh, because they're coming with an open mind and a willing heart to be able to say, I'm here, let's, let's, let's go on this journey and uh, let's see what it has for me. You know, as I'm thinking about this and hearing you talk, I imagine that if I gave up um, an hour of video games and maybe a couple hours of TV, I'd have that margin to make the time for the journey. Absolutely, absolutely. It, it, the sacrifices really aren't going to be big ones, I don't think. I think what you, what you just said, Deb, is accurate. You just find places, small places here and there, where you say, I'm going to take away a little bit here, a little bit here, move this to another night or to another... Uh, to another time that's, that's more relevant, um, and I'm going to make this work because I know it's going to be a life-enriching experience for me, and it's going to it's going to positively affect 
the person that I am, the husband that I am, the wife that I am, the friend that I am, the father that I am, the mother that I am, the son that I am, the neighbor that I am, it's going to have all of those types of, of, of positive effects in the long run. And the you that you are. Absolutely. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yep. Thanks, Deb. Mm -hmm.